Welcome to McNeil Tech, the wash experience. My name is Scott Ferry and I work for Budco Distributing, a distributor of McNeil wash systems. Today we're going to talk about and demonstrate how to maintain and uh, repair wheel boss shafts. We're also going to cover the proper alignment of the cloth installed on the shaft. We're first going to demonstrate the proper installing of the foam buns on the wheel boss shaft. This uh, is a segment of uh, shaft that has two buns installed. Now you'll notice that both buns are aligned in exactly the same way and that is incorrect. The proper alignment of the buns on the shaft should be rotated one, a 90 degree angle from the bun before. So we have two buns installed on the shaft and the long end coming out here, the long end of this bun is 90 degrees from the bun before. So if we were to add another bun, it would be rotated at 90 degrees from this one, which would be this way. And then again, noticing the long ends, rotated 90 degrees from the long ends on this foam bun would align like that. So this is what we do. We might want to make sure that all of those buns are aligned correctly on the shaft and installed on the shaft before we put the shaft back on the brush. When installing the brush shaft back onto the brush unit, we, this is the approximate orientation between the collar and the foam bun. Now there's a collar on both the shaft end and on the bearing end of the brush shaft and this is what it'll look like when it's in its finished position. But in order to install our T-nuts, we have to have a small amount of separation between the foam bun and the collar. And that can be done by using a pry bar. But, so what we've done is we've drawn with a sharpie some reference points between the collar and the foam bun that shows the proper distance to allow the insertion of a T-nut. For this demonstration, we've removed the foam bun from the section of wheel boss shaft in order to clearly show how to properly insert the T-nut and secure the shaft to the collar. So each shaft has a collar that fits on both the bearing side and the motor side of the wheel boss shaft. We've previously drawn reference lines that shows the proper separation between the collar and the cloth in order to put the T-nut into position. So to put the T-nut into position when it's in the shaft, we take needle nose pliers in order to drop the T-nut into the shaft slot. Now you'll notice on the T-nut we've drawn a reference line with a sharpie that we can look at with the flashlight through the uh, bolt hole in order to know that we have that aligned correctly. So taking the needle nose pliers, we take that T-nut and insert it properly into the wheel boss shaft. See now, you see how difficult that is? Got to make sure we do this right. So we're going to do this right this time. So we insert it in and now we have it in position. So we can use a small screwdriver to rotate that T-nut and get it turned at a 90 degree angle from the direction of the shaft. Once we have it turned, we can take that screwdriver and slide the T-nut into position. So we've previously applied some Loctite to the screw which will give us a little bit of resistance as we're putting the screw into position. So we take that screw, put it into the hole and then tighten it down. Now it's really important to not over tighten this screw because if you over tighten it against the T-nut, it will actually crush the shaft. And so you don't, uh, don't go too much on that. Now as soon as you've got one T-nut into position, you can take the shaft and rotate it 90 degrees 
and repeat the process with the second, third, and fourth T-nuts. Once we've replaced or installed and secured all four T-nuts on each collar at both the bearing end and the motor end, we then redistribute the foam so that it's equal across the brush shaft. Now one thing to mention is that if you're going to replace the brush shaft, it is re recommended that you replace the foam at the same time. And that concludes our demonstration on wheel boss shaft rate maintenance and repair. Thank you for joining us at McNeil Tech, The Wash Experience.